Hi. Um, so uh, today, I feel like I say this every time, but we got another uh, another good reading. Um, and as a, as a St. Joe's uh, University alum, um, St. Uh, Francis Xavier, the Memorial of St. Francis Xavier is a good one for me. He's the uh, co-founded um, with uh, St. Ignatius, the Society of Jesus, the, the Jesuits. Um, so that makes me happy. And, and uh, um, in, in the first reading, you know, our response, the God, there's a lot there, but there, it's funny. It's, there was one line uh, that really just grabbed my attention. And, and, uh, and it's because of something that happened earlier, just a few hours ago. And I'm recording this on Sunday. And, and, uh, and I have a meeting tonight, and I ran out. Uh, prior to it and, and on my way to, to ShopRite, a friend of mine calls. And I, I find this happening a lot recently where, where someone calls and I'm talking to them and I hear myself say something and I, and I find myself thinking, this time last year, you know, a year ago, that would have been a very odd thing to have said, you know, and, and, and I'm driving along and my phone rings and I pick up and, and, and my, my buddy Steven says, oh, what are you up to? And I said, well, I got a meeting soon, so I'm running a shop right for some wood. Um, and, uh, you know, about an hour later, my friend Jason calls, and and I'm walking around the parking lot at that point, picking up twigs, and, and he says, what are you up to? And I said, uh, I'm picking up, uh, I got a meeting soon, so I'm picking up twigs for kindling for the fire. And, uh, and the fact that I can say that, um, and it's so normalized and, and, and normalized to the point that two of my friends who are not involved in ministry hear that and know what it means. They know that, hey, it's cold outside. Chris is meeting with students tonight. He obviously needs a fire. Um, and how cool, by the way, a side note that, you know, it was only a little over a year ago that one of the members of youth ministry, you know, PJ Dower, finished his Eagle Scout project, which was a fire pit out back, you know, um, and we've used it a lot, you know, and, and, uh, and I guess I've just been thinking about, uh, about those two experience, those two phone calls, um, as I'm thinking about our reading today and, and that line, trust in the Lord. It's a lot more there today, but trust in the Lord was, 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 was that line that I, I, I think of, and I think of a lot, um, and I'd imagine that, that many of you are probably with me on that, that I talked about this last week, you know, when I'm talking to my family on my, my, my phone and I'm just looking at all of them uh, for our experience of Thanksgiving last Thursday, it's a little weird, um, you know, but it's one of those things where, like, that's what we have that's what we can do. And, and, and when I normally would have something on a night like tonight where I'd be expecting an upwards of 80 students um, coming for this meeting, and today I have, you know, probably about 10, um, 10 who, who will be here and will feel safe and will have a really positive experience. Um, but there's a difference, you know, and, and, and I keep thinking, you know, that what I can do now is I can stay close to my faith. You know, and in these moments, these, these really difficult um, kind of um, times of uncertainty in my life, I, I know that you got one of two options. And, and for me personally, I don't have a lot of gray in my life, so I'm either going to lean in or I'm going to lean out. And, uh, and I know that when I lean into my faith and I stay close, you know, and, and, and when I stay close to prayer and, and, I, and I look at you know, what I'm doing, you know, it's, it's not what it was last year. What it is, is a really unique opportunity. Last week on Zoom to, to talk to some of my siblings that I'm the youngest of eight. We could be in a room and, and there'd probably be a few of them I never even talked to. This, we had little breakout rooms and we made the best of it. And tonight, I might not have 80, but I'm going to trust that as long as I show up and do what I feel like my faith is calling me to, we can provide a really awesome experience for, for those 10 students that are with us. Um, and, uh, and I just need to keep reminding myself 
that this is a time where, where I will be continue to be safe. I will do all of the things that are, are recommended. Um, but I'm also going to stay more close than ever to my faith because I, when I'm there, um, I do trust in God. I do know that there's an end. I know that it will go back to some semblance of normal. And I also know that what it is now doesn't have to feel bad, doesn't have to feel overwhelming. I can make the very best of what I do have and celebrate in that. Um, so uh, um, I probably didn't say enough about uh, St. Francis, um, but, you know, again, uh, uh, another uh, saint who, who brings me hope uh, and helps me to trust in the Lord that, you know, one of the things he did was, you know, he, he preached and ministered to the sick in hospitals and, 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 you know, rang the bell in the streets as an invitation to the poor to come study catechism. He was a missionary. He, he brought a ton of people into the church and, and, and he co-founded the, the Jesuit order. And, and, you know, for me personally today, who, who a lot of my formation was as a student and, you know, very active in, in campus ministry at St. Joseph's, you know, um, it's nice to see that today and be reminded of, of what brought me more deeply into my faith and, and eventually brought me here um, to our parish. Uh, so that's all I have. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will look forward to seeing many of you next week.